Nope, the weather is horrible. I'm returning to my bank. See you tomorrow. Oh, that's better. Sunshine. Something I understand. It may be cold, but at least it's pleasant on an eye. Let me show you how the tides look here. In the marina, the pontoon, normally nothing. And here, mud like Shrek swamp. I'm always tempted to stand on it and see if I sink. Then common sense kicks in and holds me back because it's dangerous for people. We are in the marina on the river Humble. We sailed here from Gosport. We are preparing to set sail, which means resetting the mooring lines. It's not so straightforward getting off the pontoon safely. It needs careful planning, taking into account the direction of the wind and the tide. It's thrown out into the purse, we're just leaving the Humble, the first marina. A bit blustery and skipping last bit before the very end of the march. Right, it's going to be 20, so maybe just doing 29 knots. When we get into the Solent, we're heading across the bay 12, 15 miles to the ground. Great day, so. Our speed is quite impressive. Hold on! <laughs> what was that gust, Monica? 25? 25, 25, 25 knots! 25 and we got 9.4 knots over the ground. Oh my from that. gosh! <laughs> That's rubbish, let's do 10. <laughs> this is what they mean by going with the flow. We are really flying, even with just a ripped head sail. We reef when the wind is strong to reduce the sail size. This improves the stability and safety of the boat. The wind is just right 18 knots, all in the right direction. Making coffee in the Solent around about lunchtime, but we're going to be in Yarmouth very, very fast. Beautiful view from the galley there. Oh, the wind is picking up quite a bit. There's the entrance to Yarmouth Harbour. Here, you absolutely must look out for the ferries going to and fro. And on top of that, the wind is really much stronger now than expected. We are getting tossed about like a seashells on this ways. Anton has gone to the bar to prepare a mooring line, but already he can't return to the cockpit safety. On, he is clipped on. And I must to point out here that he later forgot to unclip before trying to jump onto the pontoon to tie up. Oh well, we must enter Yarmouth in these conditions. Just as we thought at the entrance, it wasn't easy getting alongside safely. 
very much seems obvious. But look, there are other sailors on the pantron ready to take the lines and help us. Well, we are all like a big family. Thank you for your help. Thank you for sailing with us. Big thank you to Wind Travelers for having us. See you next time. Bye.